Hello, my friend. Good to see you again. This is Miss Kathleen Rick Bruce. Thank you. Continue to support Kushan's ministry, Biblical Precept Preaching, Teaching Online, and Gospel Music Ministry. Thank you for your donation, contribution. Uh, without your help and support and blessing, uh, we cannot let the gospel reach to the nations and global college students. Uh, please, please pray for us and also continue support us. My friend, have you ever seen Jesus as Apostle Paul and be refined as pure gold? Today we will discover the interesting historical event in New Testament, um, Book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 1 to 19. Oh, the title uh, of this message is Saul's Blindness, according to the Acts, Book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 1 to 19. You will discover the reason, uh, the effect, and the result. Apostle Paul's faith developed by visualization of Jesus in the earlier church age. Jesus unveiled himself in supernatural way to him, talked to him, and rebuked him. Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? In the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 4, Paul's blindness result of his own sin, for he persecuted, attacked, assaulted, and killed the saints without a reason. According to the uh, book of Acts, chapter 7, and verse 57 to 58, and uh, book uh, of also uh, chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. God's justification by Jesus, who dealt with him for the purpose. Jesus struck him, he was blind three days. From a powerful man with authority in Rome, certainly became a powerless, blind, and sick man. This is a, you can refer to the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 1 to 9. And you will discover all the scenario, what's going on. And salvation, the ritual to Saul. Saul suffered for pain and momentary darkness. Three days later, in the moment of a restoration, Jesus' voice and healing came and became his hope of salvation. From the moment of frustration and, and uh, confusion, he realized that Jesus is Christ Messiah, and his vision was uh, restored. And this in the this is a, uh, in the uh, chapter nine, verse eleven, uh, fifteen to uh, sixteen. In repay Saul's wrongdoing, Jesus did not struck him to death. Contrarily, Jesus hear him and enable him to live and fight for Christ as disciple. In the verse 18 to 19, Christ to be exalted in his body. Apostle Paul has seen Jesus and he was dealt by the fire fired of the law of the Lord from clay refined into the perfect gold without the personal intimacy relationship with Jesus no one can express such an inner commitment Apostle Paul's um, the mission resulted him to the end he pursued the Christ and said, I eagerly expect and have hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have a sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death, for to me to live is Christ, and to die 
its game. In Chinese literature, says, 只要凡事放胆, 无论是生是死, 总叫基督在我身上, 现今也照常显大, 因为我活着就是基督. Because for me, for to me, to live is Christ. Apostle Paul, to the end, expressed such an amazing statement that he willing to die, to gain the Christ, and he can fight this battle for the Christ from a, from a, a persecutor transformed and refined into the discipleship. Unless you have seen Jesus, unless Jesus heal you, unless Jesus appeared himself, saw, revealed the vision to him, no one can convict or convert the soul. A man's blindness can be result of personal sin, arrogant, weakness, and a lack of self-control, self-discipline. My friend, have you ever persecuted sins like a Paul, like a Saul? Or do you intend to attack or assault Christians like a Saul? Do you know Christ Jesus wants to use you and save you from eternal perish? In Him, a day as thousand days, a thousand days as a day. He doesn't want you to be perished. He wants for you. He wants and He waits for you to forsake your sins. Perhaps now you are suffered in some kind of a sickness and live in darkness resulted by your own personal sin. Believe it or not, He wants to save you and to use you as His disciple. You can be free from sin and sickness. You can be healed and live in the shining light. And in His light, you will see light. Simply just turn your heart to Jesus and cease to persecute and attack or attack or assault sins. O oh, Christians, repent and turn from your sinful way. You will be saved and healed. From Old Testament to New Testament, all the law concludes, all the laws conclude in one demand. Love one another for God is love Heavenly Father is waiting for you to embrace his love through Jesus who is Lamb of God has taken away the sin of the world just call in the name of Jesus and say Lord Jesus come into my heart to be my Savior and forgive my sin and all the wrongdoings. Please help me, strengthen me to live in a new life as a new man. Through Jesus, the forgiveness and the redemption, I am no longer live, but the life I live, Christ lives in me. Old has gone, new has come. I am a new man. Please help me. In Jesus' name, amen. May the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 1 to 19 to be a wonderful inspiration into your life, applied into your life. If you are the persecutor, continue attack, assault, persecute the Christianity simply because he or she believe Jesus. 
me Jesus. His own word through the book of Acts. In that chapter 9, verse 1 to 19. Unveil to you, Jesus continued, talk to you, cease attack, cease persecution. As Jesus said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Jesus said to you again, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? May Jesus bring you healing. You may suffer a lot of sickness, bondage of a sin. And you continue to complain and blame the God and not willing to believe Jesus Christ. He is your Savior. He is your Messiah. He can save you. He can use you. He wants to save you. He wants to use you. Some of you still doubt the Jesus existence. Why don't you open your heart and pray such a prayer? Again, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and to be my Savior and forgive my sin and all the wrongdoing. Please help me, strengthen me to be a new man. All has come, new has come. The life I live, I no longer live, but the life I live, Christ living in me. If you pray such a prayer, you'll be saved. Continue to share your faith. Continue use your language, impact, influence others. Share your healing, and share your vision, and share the truth, the truth will set you free. Amen.